Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I have a Dollar Tree DIY cute Easter uh, wreath for you to try. Now, I have two different kinds of wreaths here. This one I purchased at the Dollar Tree probably a year or so ago, maybe even longer. I just had it in my stash, and so um, I wanted to use that one up, but I do have this other one that I did purchase at the Dollar Tree, and I purchased this three-dimensional bunny ornament. Okay, he has a, a hanger, and he has a little hole at the bottom. This hole is going to be helpful for gluing him onto the wreath. So I also purchased a stem of lavender, and I have some little Easter eggs. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I also have some other little floral pieces that I may or may not add in. I have not made one of these yet, so this is my first go. And I'm finding that it's difficult for the rabbit head to glue on. So what I'm using is a mixture of E6000, because E6000 is a silicone-based glue, and a grapevine wreath is a natural product. It will expand and contract with the moisture that is in the air. Silicone glue will also do that. So I'm using the E6000 combined with my hot glue, and I'm using my really cool... Ryobi cordless glue gun that I got for my birthday. The best tool that's been added to my craft room in a very long time. Anyway, I went ahead and glued his head on because I tried to make this video and then his head wouldn't stay stuck. So I got him glued on and then I came back to redo this. So the first thing I did was to cut off this hanger because with as much difficulty as I've had gluing this head to the wreath. I do not want the weight of the wreath supported by the neck where it's glued onto the wreath. So I'm going to reattach the hanger to the back to the actual to the wreath. Um, and I can go ahead and do that now. And the way I'm going to do that is just use the ribbon that I just cut off. And I'm going to tie a little knot at the ends together to make a loop. It doesn't need to be a big hanger. So there's a knot there. Now I've just made a loop and I'm going to put a little hot glue kind of up towards the top and I'm going to place this in here. I will be tying a um, ribbon around his neck so I don't want to put it too far down because I want it to stick out above the ribbon that I tie on. So I'm just tapping this in with my bone folder. I use my bone folder for so many things other than what a bone folder should be used for. But that's okay. Tools should be multi-purpose. Multi so once this is hardened up, I'll go ahead and flip them over and we'll get started. I am going to move these away. This is the kind of grapevine wreath that they have at the Dollar Tree right now. And I will be using that to make the other one. Okay, so that's what we've got right now. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is to put some flowers around. Oh, I also purchased a little wall hanger at the Dollar Tree because I thought it might be kind of fun to hang one of these glittered colored Easter eggs off the bottom of this wreath when I'm all done. Forgot to show you that. So the first thing I'm going to do after I've pulled off the stems the flowers and the leaves off of the stems. I'm going to take one of the flowers and put it inside of the leaf and I'm going to put a little hot glue on it to glue it together. Because I like to have greenery in amongst my floral pieces. And I will be the first one to tell you I don't know a lot about flowers. I don't do a lot with flowers because I'm allergic to a lot of flowers. So I do know this is lavender because it says so on the tag. <laughs> so I may be putting the leaves in the wrong spot, but that's okay. I'm just doing what I like, and you should do what you like, because if it's going to hang in your home, it needs to be something that you like. Now, I love to look at flowers. I think they're beautiful, but they just don't agree with me. So I'm gluing this one on. I think that for the flowers, since they're so lightweight, that they'll be okay with just hot glue, so I'm not going to worry about E6000 with these guys. I'm just going to glue them on and see how it goes. So with every flower that I put on, I'm going to put a little bit of glue inside and glue the purple piece to the leaf.
Okay, when I come to the middle, I've kind of got to figure out how to make it look pretty because I've got stems going opposite directions. So I think I'm just going to let it glue down, make sure it's on there good and hard, and then I'm going to stick one flower in here that is not covered with a leaf and just kind of let it poke up. I'm going to, there's a little knob on the end where it attaches to the stem. I'm going to clip that off. Be careful not to clip off what you want, you know, the flower. And I think that poking up into the middle will look nice. So I'm going to try tacking that in there. I guess I can always peel it off if I don't like it. I'm going to set him up for a second so I can see what he's looking like. Push that in. It's looking a little heavier on this side than on the other, but I guess that's okay. Okay, I think he looks pretty balanced. Now I decide, do I want to add Easter eggs in here or not? I'm not sure. If I did, I would want to add three. because it's always good to have an imbalance, an odd number. Okay, so now I have my three eggs glued into the bottom and his tummy's looking kind of full. Pull off all the extra little pieces and I'll dust that away. I think he's looking pretty cute. Now I need to decide, do I want, now these are just attached with tape on the back of the Dollar Tree hanger, so I pulled off the top piece because I don't want that one, and I need to decide, do I want to use one of these eggs? I think that's kind of cute. I think I will do that right there. So I'm going to put a dab of glue there. Whoop, that came out fast. And I'm going to put it on and I'm going to double the ribbon back just so it has twice as much hanging space. Okay, that's what it's looking like. I think it's cute. It would be cute to have some little bunny paws right here. I might have to go back to the Dollar Tree tomorrow and they had a lot of bunny hangers so there might be something there that has some paws that I could put as a hand or a, as like he was holding the wreath. Okay, just need to put a little more glue on that egg because it wasn't quite sitting where it needed to. Tuck it in. All right, there we have it, the finished bunny. I will get a photo of it hanging up on the wall into the end of this video. Okay, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And click the little bell, you'll get a uh, notification every time I post a new video. I am trying to get a few Easter crafts done because I have a craft sale this weekend. And so that's my one and only sale before Easter. So I hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. See you next time.